Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Carol Dadiba. Today I'm gonna be reviewing a beautiful wig. I already put my stocking cap on. I spray some got to be glue free spray on it. And I'm gonna go ahead and add some foundation to it before I even dry it. Doing it like this, you know, adding the foundation on while it was still wet probably isn't a big deal, but I just like the way it came out. It came out looking so much better to me than when I wait for the free spray to dry and then add the foundation on top of it. Now that it's all nice and dry, I'm gonna go ahead and get the wig out of the box and install it. The wig I'm gonna be installing today is from this company called Eon Hair. In the box with the wig, I got this stocking cap that I'm definitely gonna be needing. This is the wig that I'm gonna be reviewing today. It is purple, of course, and purple is my favorite color, so they did good by sending me this hair. This is a T-part pixie cut curly hair, and this is the shortest wig I ever review, but I really like it. I'm gonna add some foundation on the center part, and then I'm gonna put it on. To secure it on today, I'm gonna be using my Got To Be Glued Free Spray. I'm spraying a small amount on my forehead and then I'm gonna dry it a little bit with my blow dryer. Usually I would do two or three layers but today I'm only doing one. And then before it's completely dry I'm gonna pull the lace down on it and then I'll use the blow dryer again and completely dry it. Another thing I like to do sometimes, I use a comb and you know, comb those small baby hair back a little bit just to get them out the way so nothing get glued down on the lace. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for the sides. Now I'm gonna tie it down with this elastic band and allow it to completely dry before I cut the lace off. <laughs> Time to remove the elastic band and get rid of that extra lace. Now I'm gonna use my BTL foam wrap lotion to sleep my edges down. To do that, I'm using this little comb on my edge brush to comb them in the direction I want them and that's how I sleep them down. I'm gonna do a total of two on each side and I think that's gonna be enough since it's a center part and it's also a T part wig. So I really don't need to do them all the way down to my sideburn. 
Now I'm going to use my foam wrap lotion again to brush in the front part of my hair and then I'm going to tie it down and allow it to dry completely. While that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and add my Pantene Hydrating Buttercream onto my hair to bring in those curls and make them pop. And you know, they're just gonna look fly afterwards. And this is what my curls look like now, just the way I imagined, just the way I intended. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup and I'll be back with the finished look. And here it is y'all, how beautiful. One thing I noticed though, when I was wearing the yellow shirt, you could see the purple more now that I'm wearing the white shirt. It is not so vibrant, but I still love it. Like for real, I really love it y'all. I knew I looked good in short hair, but I didn't know I looked this good in short hair. <laughs> Check out the back, y'all. It is so full. The curls are so juicy. They're just popping. I mean, what's not to love about this short, curly, pixie cut wig? It is so gorgeous. I will leave all the information on this here down below in the description box. So definitely check that out. Also, guys, please let me know what you think about this hair because I am loving it. But I want to know what you guys think. So Definitely give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below because I am so excited to hear your guys' opinion. If this is your first time on my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!